Minneapolis police say there are no current plans to release the body camera footage from a deadly police encounter inside a downtown apartment. Police say a SWAT team was executing a search warrant early yesterday. That's when police say the officer shot and killed a man who community activists have identified as Amir Locke. Police say that he was holding a handgun. Interim Minneapolis Police Chief Amelia Huffman says that they were assisting St. Paul Police with an ongoing murder investigation. Kate Raddatz shares what we've learned from a meeting between MPD and community leaders. A day after a fatal police shooting at the Bolero Flats apartment complex downtown, there were new calls to release the body camera footage. Minneapolis Police Interim Police Chief Amelia Huffman said officers were wearing body cameras and she had seen the footage. On Thursday, state lawmakers sent a letter to Mayor Jacob Fry and Huffman calling for the release of the video. Lisa Clemens with a Mother's Love Initiative posted these photos of a meeting between community leaders and Huffman Thursday morning that was requested by the community leaders. She told WCCO that Huffman said MPD was not delaying the release of the video. They told her the family had been asked to view the body camera footage first before it would be released to the public. Sources told WCCO the family was able to view the footage Thursday afternoon. Files from the case detail some new information. According to the fire incident report, Amir Locke arrived at the hospital with two gunshot wounds to his chest and one to his wrist. One of the wounds had a compress applied. Emergency medics determined he did not have a pulse when he was assessed. The BCA says the next piece of information to come out will be the official ID of the man who was shot from the Hennepin County Medical Examiner's Office. The BCA will release new information once all initial interviews with officers and witnesses are complete. Reporting in Minneapolis, Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. City documents name Mark Hanneman as the officer who fired the shots. Local activist Nakima Levy Armstrong says that she has talked with Locke's family. They told her that he had a permit to carry a gun and didn't live at the apartment.